Hey, Fred! What? Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna clean later. <sighs> Why do I always have to clean after you? Ow! Oh, my hand! What am I gonna do? Don't worry, Lily, I can help you. First, we need some gauze pads. Just apply pressure to stop the bleeding. Now wash the area thoroughly. For the final step, we need honey and a band-aid. Apply honey as a natural antibiotic ointment. And apply the band-aid. Do this for three times a day and your hand will feel all better. Wow, thank you, Fred, it worked! No problem, now just relax, I'll clean up. Okay. Hey, Lily, I bet I can eat more hot chips than you. Is that a challenge, Matt? Yeah, it is. Okay, bring it on. Oh, man. Uh, oh, it's so spicy. Uh. Right. Oh. oh, I'm done. I can't finish this bag. <laughs> I win. Oh, huh, what's wrong, Lily? I have really bad heartburn. Ah. Oh, you ate too many spicy chips. But don't worry, I know how to help you. Here, Lily, eat three almonds. Are you serious? How is that gonna help? Trust me, just try it. Ugh. Fine, if you say so. The alkaline in the oh, Lily. Oh, my heartburn's gone. Thanks, Max. Oh, no problem. Let's not do that again. Okay. Huh? Oh no, my boss will be here in 15 minutes. I need to get ready. Uh, I need to fix my hair. Oh no! Oh, my dark circles are so bad. Ah, oh, I can't present to the CEO like this. Ah, uh, what am I gonna do? Oh! To get rid of dark circles, all you need is orange juice and cotton pads. First, cut the cotton pad into a crescent shape. Next, we'll add some orange juice. Now just put the cotton pads under your eyes. Leave them on for 15 minutes and your dark circles will be gone. And now I gotta get back to work. Fred, do you have the presentation ready? Yes, sir. Wow, Max, all of that's for me? Of course, here you go, my love. Thank you so much, Max. Open the box, you're gonna love it. <gasps> my favorite candy, you're so sweet. Mmm, they were so good. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, uh, don't worry, my love, I know what to do. Okay. For a stomach ache, all we need is some basil. Add some hot water to a mug, and then put in some basil leaves. Here, Lily, drink some of this. Uh, okay. Basil helps relieve stomach pain and improve digestion. So, how do you feel? My stomach's all better, thank you, Max. Oh, you're welcome, ready to start dinner? Yeah. Oh, yes, we're almost done. Yeah, but that last box is really heavy. I'll grab it when I come back. Shh, it shouldn't be too heavy. I could probably pick it up. It's heavier than I thought, but I can do this. Uh, I got it! Oh, oh, yeah. oh man, I have a bruise! Huh? Lily, I told you to wait for me! Let me help you. First, let's make some green tea. And once the tea cools, take out the bag. Green tea helps reduce swelling and discoloration. So how's your arm, Lily? No, my bruise is gone. Thanks, Fred. Uh, no problem. Let me grab the boss. Oh, be careful. Max, come on. We're going to be late. Max, what are you doing? I thought you were getting ready. My skin's breaking out. I had too much junk food. Uh, I bet it's not that bad. Uh, no, I can't go to the party like this. I look terrible. Don't worry, Max. I know what to do. For acne, all we need is honey and cinnamon. Add some honey and some cinnamon into the bowl. Now just mix it all up with the spoon. Here, Max, put this on your face. Uh, okay. Wash this off after 15 minutes and your acne will be all gone. Wow, my skin feels so soft. Thanks, Fred. Yeah, no problem. Now let's get to the party. Okay, yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Fred, what are you doing? You're late for school. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I must have slept through my alarm. Well, hurry up. I need to get to work. Oh, all right, all right. Let me grab my papers. Come on, let's go. Uh, oh, what is it now, Fred? Ah, uh, I got a paper cut. Oh, don't worry. I can fix that fast. For paper cuts, all we need is Vaseline. Vaseline will help prevent irritants and soothe the skin. 
Wow, my hands all better. Thanks, Dad. No problem. Let's go. We're running late. Okay, okay. So next to present is Lily. Go ahead. Okay, electricity was discovered in. Um. Uh, oh man, I know it's in here somewhere. Lily, why aren't you prepared for the presentation? You lose ten points. We can color code notes to make information easier to find. Put some white tape on your highlighters, and then label them with different topics. Now I can quickly find information I need for my presentation. Alright, Lily, are you ready to present? Yes, Professor. So, um, electricity was discovered in 1759 by Benjamin Franklin. Ugh, there's no way I can memorize all these formulas before the test! Oh no, the test starts in 10 minutes! What am I gonna do? Ah! I'll just write the formulas that I need in big text on a piece of paper. Add some double-sided tape to the back. I'll stick it to the wall and then put my laptop right in front. Now my teacher will think I'm looking at my computer, but really I'm looking at my cheat sheet. And remember, I'll be watching very closely for cheating. You may begin your test. Max! Huh? What? I said no cheating. If I catch you again, I'm gonna give you a zero. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Look, I won't do it again. Good. Wow, Lily's such a good student. She's so focused. Okay, class. Today we'll discuss the key points of the American Revolution. Alright, now that she's not looking, I can play my games. She's not looking. Now's my chance to play some games. I'll just use my notebook to hide my controller. Oh yeah, I'm almost at the high score. And she hasn't noticed at all. Oh, man, it's so hot. I need my fan. Oh, it's just blowing hot air. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I know! To make the fan blow colder, all I need is a frozen water bottle. <sighs> now that I'm cooled off, I can pay attention to the lecture. Um, this one... This... Uh, no, what am I gonna wear? Oh no, class is starting! I'm here, I'm here. Okay, everyone's here. Lily, are you wearing pajamas? You know that's against dress code. I'm gonna have to take away points. Oh man. To get ready quick in the morning, all you need is a hangable shoe organizer. Make labels for days of the week. Now stick them over each section. Next, pick out your different outfits. And put one in for each day. Now we'll be ready for class in less than five minutes. Oh. Ah. That was a good night's sleep. Oh, I missed my alarm. My test was three hours ago. What am I gonna do? To avoid sleeping through your alarm, all you need is a cup. Place the cup next to your bed and then put your phone's speaker first into the cup. The cup will amplify the alarm so that I won't miss it. Now I can sleep comfortably. Ah. Hmm. Oh, right on time. Gotta get to class. No, 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 no! Oh, my laptop died. I need to find the charger so I can finish my test. I can't find anything in this mess. Oh wait, I think it's this one. Oh man, my laptop died before I could even submit my test. 
To avoid losing cords, all you need is masking tape. First, put the tape around the cord. Then, label the tape. Now, I can easily find the cord that I'm looking for. <sighs> Almost done my essay. Huh? No! No, 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 please, not now! No! No, my essay's gone! Now I have to start all over! To avoid losing all your progress on your documents, all you have to do is hit Control S. Do it every five minutes. Now, if my computer has any problems, my essay would be fine. The Eater. Are you serious, zombie? How many times have I told you? No food in class! Sorry, Miss Amy, but I'm so hungry. See, do you hear my stomach sound? No, rules are rules. Now give me the food. Okay, fine. Don't be sad, zombie. We can eat later. No, we don't have to eat later because I still have the candy in here. That's not candy, zombie. Those are crayons. You can't eat crayons. No, it's not a crayon. It's a candy. Look. Hmm. Huh? How come I still hear chewing? Zombie, are you eating again? Oh no, Professor, I'm not eating anything. I'm just using the crayon to draw the chart. Oh, really? Let me see. Hmm, these look like regular crayons. Professor, it's just a crayon. Hmm, okay, zombie. All right, everyone, I want you to draw the chart on the board, okay? It's very important. Okay, okay Professor. Good. Hmm, I love eating snacks in class. The class bully. Hey, Frankenstein! Stop right there! Huh? What, what happened, zombie? If you want to come to class, you have to pay me. But I don't have any money, zombie. I don't need money. I need you to do my homework. And don't ever think you can tell Professor or you'll pay. Okay, I'll do it. I won't tell Professor. Stop right there! Z zombie, can you let me in today? I don't have any candy. Huh? No candy today? What should I do? Hold on! What's on your head? You have a new headband? This one? I just bought it! I don't care! Give it to me! If you ever want to come in the class, you have to pay me! Because I'm the class boy. The sleeper! Okay, so all of us are interested in our own class. Oh, I'm so sleepy! Huh? Hey! Zombie! Zombie, wake up! Professor Amy is super strict, you get in trouble! Uh, don't bother me, I'm so, so sleepy! Hey, zombie! Huh? What, Millie? You can have my coffee! The caffeine will wake you up! Oh, uh, really? Okay... Zombie will stay awake for sure! <sighs> How do you feel now? I'm uh, so sleepy! Oh. oh, man, really? That was super strong coffee! Don't worry, Lily. I'll just wear these sunglasses and pretend that I'm reading a book. Seriously? <sighs> huh? Who's sleeping in my class? Not you. Oh my gosh, you're sleeping? Zombie! Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you sleeping in my class? How many times have I told you? I stayed up late yesterday. Sorry, Professor. Okay, but if you do it again, you're out of my class. Okay. The Daydreamer. in the iPhone 11 Pro Max? We have a Crafty Hacks phone case? Is it for me? Surprise, surprise, it's your birthday present. Oh, thank you so much, I love it. <laughs> Zombie! Huh? What, what, Professor? Why are you kissing my hand? What's going on? Are you daydreaming again? Oh, sorry, Professor. I was dreaming about getting a new phone. With the Crafty Hacks phone case. New phone with the Crafty Hacks phone case? There's no phones allowed in class. Now focus and stop daydreaming. I'm sorry, Professor. I'll focus now. Good. If not, you're going to fail this class. Okay, Professor. I will. Good. The Unprepared. Come on. 
Hey, zombie, do you know how to solve number four's problem? Uh, don't bother me when I'm playing games. Are you serious, zombie? We have a quiz tomorrow. Yeah, it's really important. Uh, it's tomorrow. I still have time. Okay, well, if you don't know how to do the quiz tomorrow, don't ask us. Whatever. Okay, so... All right, guys, here's your quiz. Uh, good luck, okay? Oh, this quiz looks so easy. I'm gonna get an A. Yeah, me too. This looks super easy. Are you guys serious? This quiz is so hard. I don't understand any of the questions. I told you to study yesterday. This quiz is super easy. Can you help me? No. Aww. I know what to do. I will cheat. Zombie, what are you doing? Are you cheating in my class? Sorry, Professor, but I didn't study last night. That doesn't mean you can cheat. You failed this quiz. Sorry, Professor. Get out of my class. Okay. Man, I should have prepared for this class. The Rich Kid. Hey, Zombie, do you want to eat with us? I got the candy burgers. And I have danishes. Gummy burgers and danishes? Are you serious? What? What do you mean? Ugh, my family is so rich. I can't eat normal food. Everything I eat has to have gold. There's golden fries, burgers, and ketchup. I even have a golden drink. Wow, your food is so fancy. Can I try some? Uh, are you guys rich? No, we're not. So you can't eat my food? No. Hey guys, just kidding. I'll share it with you because I'm rich. Oh, really? Yeah, try the golden fries, Frankenstein. Oh. You can have the drink. Oh, I feel so fancy now. Whoa, I'm drinking gold. I feel rich already. This is nothing, guys. I used to eat diamonds. Really? Whoa, oh, you're so rich. Yeah, just finish the meal. Okay. The lovers. I love you so much, Frankenstein. Oh, me too, zombie. Aw. Ew, guys, stop doing that in class. Oh, Lily, don't bother us. Yeah, you're not in love, so you won't know. Okay, but don't do it in front of me. It's so gross. Okay. Come on, my Frankenstein. Oh, my zombie. Hey, zombie Frankenstein, what are you guys doing in my class? Lily, sit between them. Oh, no, professor. I don't do, do it now. Oh. Uh. Oh, my love, I cannot hug you, but I'll give you air kisses. Oh, I love you too, zombie. Oh, can you guys stop doing that? Professor, I don't want to sit between them. Zombie, Frankenstein, are you kidding me? If you guys are kissing, you have to leave class. Okay, sorry, sorry, Professor. professor. Oh, I hate sitting between them. The borrower. Okay, guys, so now I need you to draw this chart into your notes. Okay, okay professor. professor. Mm, I don't have any school supplies. What am I going to do? Ah, Lily, Lily, can I borrow your ruler? My ruler? Uh, yeah, sure, here. Thank you. Break it down. What is it, zombie? Can I borrow a pencil and some paper? I forgot mine at home. Paper and pencil? Uh, I have paper. I don't have an extra pencil. Do you want to use this colored pencil? Oh, really? Fine. But only this time. Next time, I want to borrow a river pencil. Oh, okay, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> I don't have to pay for any school supplies. I'll just borrow them from my friends. <laughs> Professor, Max is eating in class. Seriously, Lily? Really, Max? What are you eating? It's just a little chocolate, Professor. Chocolate? How many times have I told you? No eating in my class. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. I was just so hungry. I didn't eat any breakfast. I don't care. Rules are rules. Give me all the chocolate. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I got uh, you. <laughs> uh, Lily, I'll get you back. You're so nosy. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. To hide my candy, all I need is a pencil box. Put all your candy into the pencil box and then put all the pencils on top to hide them. Now use the paper clips to hide the rest of the candy. Okay, my candy is safe. Now I can enjoy some. Eating in my class? No, look, Professor, I don't have anything. You can check my table. Hmm, okay, let me check. I told you, you took all my candy. I don't have anything to eat. Hmm, okay. But, Professor, I just saw him. Hmm, stop bothering me, Lily. Focus on your work. But, Professor, stop. I don't want to hear anything. Focus on your work. <sighs> Yay. 
This is my favorite snack. I can't share it with anyone. Max, you have chips? No, Lily, you scared me. Um, yeah, these are my new chips. Wow, they look so good. Can I have some? Mmm, these are my favorite chips. I don't want to share, but she'll think I'm selfish. Okay, fine, but just one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll just take one. Oh. Wow, this snack is so good, Max. Huh? I told you to take one piece. You took everything. You never told me to grab one piece. You told me to grab one, so I grabbed one handful. <laughs> All right, thanks anyways. <laughs> oh, I'll get you back, Lily. Oh, I know. To save my chips, all I need are scissors and double-sided tape. Use the scissors to cut a piece of double-sided tape. Put the double-sided tape on the bag and then peel off the plastic. Finally, stick it under the desk. Ah, now my chips are safe and no one knows where they are. Hey Max, do you have any chips today? No. Max, are you eating chips? Oh, uh, no, no. That's weird. I heard crunching sounds from over here. That was close, but now my chips are safe. That's a good spot to hide snacks from Lily. Huh? Are you eating again? Uh, no, no, I didn't eat anything. I'm watching you. <laughs> Aha! I got you! Oh, oopsie. Are you still eating in my class? No, Professor, look, you can check. I don't have any snacks at all. I just saw him eating, Professor. Hmm, all right, let me check. See, I told you, Professor, I don't have any snacks. All right, then, Max. But I just saw him eat. Stop bothering me, Lily. I saw you eat. Lily, hold it right there. What is this, Lily? Are you hiding snacks behind your back? Oh, no, 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 Professor, that's not mine. That's I don't know anything, Professor. She had his snacks. If I catch you eating one more time, you have to leave my class, Lily. That wasn't even mine. <laughs> oh, Max! <laughs> Lily, mm. Max, you're eating again? Are those gummies? Uh, yeah, these are my gummies. Ooh, those are my favorite. Can I have some? Yeah, but please don't tell the Professor. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, Lily, why'd you eat all my gummies? Sorry, I just really like them. Oh. Mm, how can I hide my candy from Lily? Oh, I got an idea. To keep Lily from eating my gummies, I need to make them look gross. So all I need are gummy worms and Oreos. First put some Oreos into a bowl and then mash them up. Grab some gummy worms, then put them in the bowl and mix it up so they look like worms and dirt. Finally put them back into the bag. Now my gummy worms look so gross, but actually they're delicious. Max, do you have any more gummies? I love gummies so much. Oh, uh, yeah, I do, but I dropped them on the ground this morning. They're a little dirty. Do you still want some? Ew, those are gross. I don't want them. Throw them away. <laughs> now I can eat all my gummies. Oh, I'm so hungry. These chips are so good. Huh? I knew you brought chips. Professor, Professor. Oh, no, Professor's going to take my chips away. What am I going to do? Oh, I put all the snacks on my belly. Are you serious, Max? Uh, but Professor, I don't have any chips. Look, you can check my backpack, too. Hmm, let me see. Okay, Max, focus on your work. Wait, no, 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 look at his belly. His belly's so big. Hmm, Max, why is your belly so big? Oh, uh, I had a big breakfast, Professor. Huh? What's that sound? Stand up, Max. See, I told you, Professor, he brought a lot of snacks. Good job, Lily. Give them to me, Max. Don't ever think you can hide chips in my class again. <laughs> oh, I'll get you, Lily. Whatever. <laughs> I just bought candy, but I don't want to share with Max. What am I going to do? Ah, to hide candy from your classmates, all you need is a pot and flowers. First, pour out the candy into the pot and fill it all the way up. And now we just need to put the flowers in so it looks like a regular flower vase. 
Uh, Lily, I'm so hungry. Do you have any snacks today? Um, no, I actually don't, Max. Uh, okay. Lily, why are the flowers on your desk? Oh, these flowers? I just used it to decorate my desk. Decorate your school desk? <laughs> She's so weird. Mmm, the candy's so good. This is such a great idea to hide your candy from your friends. Max, I caught you! Are you eating candy again? What are you talking about? I'm working on this problem. Hmm, I don't believe you. Let me check. Hmm, seems like you don't have any chips. But if I catch you eating in class, I'm gonna tell Professor. Ooh, that was close. She'll never know I hid my candy in here. This is a great spot for hiding my candy. The scary. All right, ready for school. Ah! Max! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> Why'd you scare me like that? Now to think of my next prank. <laughs> Max? He's choking! We need to help him! Come on, Max! Lily, we have to call 911! Oh, okay! <laughs> you don't have to do that, I'm fine! <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Max, again? Are you serious? Let's go hang out somewhere else, Joyce. Fine. What? Come on, it's Halloween, guys. The picky one. Trick or treat. Wow, your costumes look so good. Here's some candy. Thank you. You're welcome. And for you? Um, can I choose my candy? Oh yeah, sure. Um, ew. Hmm, I'm allergic to nuts. Uh, do you have any other candies I could look at? I don't like these ones. Oh, fine. Here, you can check the bag. Thank you. Wait, this is all the same candy. Oh, you're so picky. Are you going to get a candy or not? Fine, but next time you should have better quality candy. The judgmental one. Trick or treat. Hi, let's see your costumes. Wait. What are you supposed to be? Oh, uh, I'm a basketball player. You don't even have a real uniform on. Are you even trying? Here's your candy. Oh, thanks. Are you serious? You're way too old to be trick-or-treating. My candy is for kids only. Um, come on, please. Can I have some candy? Oh, fine. One piece. Uh, thank you. Wow! I love your costume. Here, take some candy. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow! The unprepared one. Trick or treat! Oh, yeah! Give me a second! Oh my gosh, I forgot to buy candy! Uh... Uh, here you go! Um, thank you! Happy Halloween! Trick or treat! Oh, hi! Uh... Uh, here you go. Um, thanks. Whew, that was a close one. I really gotta get some candy. The candy shopper. Oh, I love M&M's. Oh, what? Five, four, get one free? Yes, this is just the deal I needed. What? This is so much candy. Your total comes out to be $300. You can never have too much candy on Halloween. If you say so. The one who doesn't try. Oh, oh, I gotta go get the door. Okay. Hey, sorry I'm late, but I brought chips. Oh, uh, okay, come on in. Hey guys, Billy's here. Hey. Where's your costume? Yeah, this is a costume party. This is my costume. I dressed up as myself. Huh? Are you serious? Oh, that's so boring. It's okay, guys. Let's keep partying. Okay. The one who dresses up all day. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Huh? Who are you? It's me, Joyce. Happy Halloween, Professor. Uh, thank you. All right, let's get things started. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Why are you wearing your costume to class? Because Halloween is all about dressing up. So, you know what, Joyce? I really like your costume. Extra credit points for Halloween spirit. <gasps> really? Yay! Yay! That's not fair. The early one. What 
else do you need? They oh, let me check the list the professor gave me. Okay, that's everything. What do you need to get, Joyce? Joyce? Ooh, I need this decoration and um... What are you doing, Joyce? We're supposed to be shopping for school supplies. What do you mean? I need to get ready for Halloween. Seriously, Joyce? September just started. Yes, I need everything to be perfect. Now help me carry this stuff. Okay. We need this too. And this. That's too much. There's never too much. Trust me. The Binge Eater. Oh, I got so much candy this year. These are my favorite. I'm so lucky. Oh, that was so good. Maybe just one more. Oh, I think I have room for one more. The lazy one. Trick or treat. Um, hello? Oh, Stacy, look, it says to take one. Oh, man, she really needs to have more energy for Halloween. Yeah. Oh, who ate all my pickles? Oh, I have to catch the thief. And I know just how to do it. First, I need some pictures. Oh, perfect. Now, put the picture in the jar. Oh, yeah, this looks scary. Now, let's put the picture of the pickles onto the other side. All right, this should scare whoever's been stealing my pickles. Hello. Do you know who's been stealing my pickles? Oh, pickles? Uh, no, no, I, I don't know. It better not be you. Oh, I have to go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Whew. Luckily, she didn't know I was lying. Ooh, a full jar of pickles. She won't know if I just took one. Witch! Ah! Huh? huh? You called me? Huh? I saw your head in the jar. How are you here? It's called magic, and I caught you. You're the pickle thief. Give it to me. It's just a picture, see? You'll never steal my pickles again. <laughs> oh, ah! Ghost lady, don't scare me like that. It's so funny, you're so easy to scare. <laughs> oh. Boom! Ah! Uh, again? Why do you keep scaring me? It's because I'm trying to make you a tougher monster. Oh, I don't want to be tall. But you have to be. <laughs> Ghostly is always trying to scare me. I hate it. Oh, I'm going to use this eyelash glue and this fake nail to scare Ghost Lady back. Put the nail on my lip. Then apply eyelash glue. Lastly, add some red lip gloss to make it look like blood. Oh, this looks so good. Now time to scare Ghost Lady. Ghost Lady, help! Help! Ghost Lady! What happened? What's uh, wrong? My lips, I got a nail stuck in it! Ah! A nail? How did that even happen? It hurts so bad! Just had to check it out! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. I'm too scared! I'm sorry, vampire, I just don't like blood! Ah. <laughs> got you! It's just a prank! <laughs> it's a fake nail, see? And I guess you're not so tough either, ghost lady, huh? What? A fake nail? You got me good. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> get it off, get it off. Relax, witch. It's just a fake spider, see? Uh, I don't care. I hate bugs. Wait, aren't you a monster? Why are you scared of bugs? It's because they're so ugly and disgusting. Ugh. I'm out of here. Oh, I can't believe her. Ugh, she thinks my spiders are ugly and disgusting. I'll show her. Ooh, she's not in her room. I can sneak in. I know just what to do to prank her. I'm a prank witch by putting spiders in her lamp. <laughs> I'll take one here, and another one here, and the last one right there. Awesome, now when she's gonna turn on her lamp, she's gonna see spiders. <laughs> That's what you get for calling my spiders ugly. I'm so tired, time for bed. Oh, I forgot to do something. Spiders? Why is there spiders in my room? Oh, get away, get away! What happened? Oh, there's so many spiders in my room, look! <laughs> it was a prank, you're 
you're such a scaredy cat, witch. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, look. See, it's fake. You gotta be more tough. You're a monster. Uh, I guess you're right. Huh? Here, try touching it. Uh... Vampire, is that my food? No, I don't think so. Let me see. It is mine. Give it back. I'm sorry. Uh, vampire's always stealing my food. I know what to do. I'll use this hole puncher and this clear cord to make a sliding plate. First, punch a hole into the plate. Now tie it with a string. Make sure it's tight. Perfect. Time to go prank vampire. Let's go hide. <gasps> Ooh, did Ghost Lady forget her food again? She won't know that I took a piece. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> I knew she would try to steal again. Huh? Did the plate just move? Nah, it's just my imagination. Ah, it did move! It's a ghost! <laughs> I got her good! <laughs> ah, why does it keep moving? I'm out of here! <laughs> That's what you get for stealing my food, vampire! Witch, stop playing games and help me move these boxes! Give me a minute, I'm almost done! Oh, whatever! I've been cleaning all day and Witch is only worried about playing games! Ugh! Oh, witch! Still playing games? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm almost done. If you don't help me with these boxes, you're not going to the monster party later. Okay, okay, just give me two more minutes and then I'll move the last box. Okay, fine, but you better do it fast. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I brought these all by myself. Oh, I'll prank witch. <sighs> when witch comes by the boxes, I'll jump out and scare her. <laughs> oh, yes, I won. I gotta get rid of this box so I can go to the monster party. <laughs> I hear her coming. I'm gonna get her so good. <laughs> oh man, this thing's so heavy. Whew. I'll go get ready for the monster party now. Oh no, the box is too heavy. I can't get out. Help! I'm stuck. Anybody help? Vampire, happy Halloween. Thanks, but what is this? It's a Halloween lamp. You can put it on your desk. Thanks for the Halloween lamp, witch. You're welcome. I'm gonna go visit Ghost Lady. See you. Okay. Why does she always give me weird stuff on Halloween? What is this? Uh, I'm gonna take a nap. <sighs> huh? Oh, it's just the lamp that witch gave me. Why is it so scary? Oh, just put it over here. Back to bed. Huh? <laughs> oh my monster, I need to get rid of it. I can't sleep. Huh? Oh, now I won't be able to see it so I can go to sleep. <sighs> so today we're going over calculus, but remember, no food in class. Got it, Lily and Mac? Okay, Miss Amy. Okay. Huh? Oh, I broke my pencil. Hey, Lily, can I use one of your erasers? Erasers. Grab an eraser and remove the cover. Cut the eraser into three, one for the top and one for the bottom. Then discard the middle. Glue the smaller piece of the eraser into the cover. Pop some nerds in there. Cover their nerds with the eraser and there you have it. Oh, smart. Oh yeah, this is... I want everyone's art projects to be done today. Max, what did I say about food? Huh? Oh, she took all my lifesavers. Get your lifesavers huh? ready. Then stack them into a clean glue stick one by one. It's all ready to eat now. I love life so much, bro. That's it. Oh, class is almost over. Do you have any glue? No, this is my only one. You have one right there. Uh, All right, everyone, time's up. Wow, Lily, good job. Max, where's your project? I don't see anything. Uh, it was harder than I thought. Max, can I have one? 
sorry, this this was my last one. Really? Start by cutting off the top of a highlighter. Then apply glue to the edge. Get some gum and wrap it with the printed logo. Make sure you secure it with some tape. Now attach the gum to the highlighter. Wow, it looks like the real deal. I thought you said that was your last one. I was. Are you lying to me? All right, so I want the diagrams to be super colorful. Lily, I said no food in class. Oh, fine. Hey, Lily, can I grab some crayons? No, use these. Okay, right. for lunch yet? Hey Max, you hungry? I've got this. What am I gonna do with pencils? Open it up. Start with color pencils and glue them together with a glue gun. Place them into a pencil pouch along with the Oreos. Zip it up and there you have it. It's all ready to eat. Oh, this was a great idea. I know, right? Are you licking your lipstick? No, it's actually chocolate. Did you want to try some? Find a clean lipstick container. Then fill it up with melted chocolate and wait for it to harden. Looks delicious! Did you say chocolate? Huh? So, does anyone have any questions? Max, are you eating lipstick? No, it's not, it's not lipstick, I mean, it's... it's I got you a gift, Amy. Thank you. Have a seat so we can start class. Hey, Lily, what are those? These are special notebooks from Japan. No way, really? Can I have one? No way. Come on, what, what if I give you my binder? That thing? Uh-uh. <sighs> See that candy? And that binder? Customize your very own binder with candy forming cool patterns. Lily is going to be so jealous. Good thinking, Max. It looks amazing. Max, what you got there? Oh, this? This is my secret stash. Uh, I want one. I'll trade you now. One? I'll trade you for all of them. Uh, fine. When the forces of the molecules attract other forces. So you guys aren't paying attention and you're eating candy? Give me that. The foodie mom. Hi mom, happy Mother's Day. Oh, hi my dear son, come in, come in, welcome home. Okay mom. Wait a minute. Huh? Tony, why why do you look so skinny? Come on, I'm normal. No, no, you need to eat, go over there. I can't believe in two weeks he got so skinny. Now sit down here and wait for me, you need to eat. Mom, don't worry about me, today's Mother's Day. I don't care. You look so skinny. You need to eat. Now wait here. Uh, okay, fine, Mom. You always do this. Huh? Mom, how did you cook all this in half an hour? Don't worry about that. Now time to eat. Mom, I got it. You know how to... What? what? Mom, okay, no, I, I, I have okay. to feed you because what? if I don't, you're not going to eat. Mom, I'll eat. Please, please, slow down. Okay, but you have to eat everything. Okay, Mom. I'm eating now. See? The show off, Mom. Mom, happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. I love it so much. Oh, hey, Max. Hey, Miss Joyce. Hi, Mom. This is Miss Joyce. Miss Joyce, this is Amy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Joyce, he gave you those little flowers for Mother's Day? Yeah, he did. I love it so much. Uh, really? Okay, but look at the flowers Tony got me. They're so expensive. Oh, he didn't get me big flowers, but he got me a limited edition diamond necklace. Uh, well that's nothing. My Tony got me this diamond encrusted watch and this gold necklace. Oh really? Well my son got me an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Max, Max, we gotta cut them out. Yeah, we should, we should. Well I got a golden 
Mom, don't do that. That's so embarrassing. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Mom, why do you always do that? It's so embarrassing. What are you talking about? I didn't even do anything. Uh, could you recommend something from your menu? Um, yeah, our chicken. Ah, uh, mom. The friendly mom. For young people, parties are always fun. But it can be more fun when your mom comes. Huh? Whoa, mom? What are you doing here? You're embarrassing me. Oh, come on. It's a party. I just want to dance with you guys. Mom, mom, stop. Please, please. Can you believe you know me? I'm Tony's mom. Hi, Mrs. Amy. Oh, mom, don't do that. So how long have you guys been dating? Don't, oh. don't answer that. Do not answer that. Oh, stop it. I'm talking to my daughter-in-law. Let's be besties. Besties? Okay, Mrs. Amy. So how long have you been dating? Don't be shy. Answer me. I think about a month, Miss Amy. Oh, well, congratulations. Okay. Mom, you're so embarrassing. The nosy mom. Huh? Who are you texting? Is it your girlfriend and you didn't tell me? I'm your mom. Huh? Mom, are you spying on me? This is personal stuff. I was just checking the couch. Oh. Uh. You want to hide from your mom? Well, you can't, because your mom is a good spy. Now let's see what you were hiding, son. Lily, I got some lily flowers for you. Oh, thank you. They're so pretty. Just like you. I knew it. He's dating without telling me. Huh? What's that sound? Mom? Is that you? Uh, I'm not your mom. Oh my gosh, mom, you're always spying on me. The cuddling mom. Wait, Tony, don't go yet. Huh? What, mom? I'm late. You forgot your lunch. Okay, okay, thanks, mom. Wait, Tony, wait. Huh? Again, mom? What do you need? It's cold outside. You need a scarf. Come here. Are you serious, mom? That's a woman's scarf. I don't care. I just want you to be warm. Come here. Don't think about taking it off. I'll catch you. Fine, mom. I won't take it off. I gotta go. Wait, Tony, stop. Mom, I'm gonna get fired if I'm late. I'm serious. Come here. Okay, mom. Okay, mom, please. I'm late. Okay, okay, mom. I gotta go for real. Okay, good luck, Tony. Bye. The proud mom. Joyce, look at this. My son Tony got employee of the year. I'm so proud of him. Really, Amy? That's so impressive. And you know what? His girlfriend's really successful too, and they're getting married next year. I'll be a grandmother. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. You must be so proud of your son. Yeah, that's right. He's my son, and it makes me so proud. The strict mom. Are you serious, Lily? A 92% on your science test? Yeah, Mom, that's an A. No, it's an A minus, not an A. And are you reading again? Yeah, Mom, I'm reading books because I want to be a writer. Are you serious? No way. You have to be a scientist like your dad, not a writer. Give me that. Make sure you study and you expect an A plus next time. Fine, Mom. Good. And if I see you with another book, I'm cutting off your allowance. Okay, Mom. The Neat Freak Mom. Ooh, finally finished. Lily, why aren't you cleaning up? I told you to clean the kitchen. I did, Mom. Everything's so clean. Fine, let me check. Hmm. Then what is this? It's still dirty. It's just one piece of dirt, Mom. Dirt means bacteria. I can't trust you. I'm going to watch you clean up. Okay, fine, Mom. Okay? Don't forget the vase. You missed the spot. And here, look. What is that? Right there. The bias, Mom. Max, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just playing games, Mom. Playing games? Are you serious? Why aren't you doing your homework? Uh, it's summer break. I don't have any homework. Put your leg down. You always have an excuse. That's why you're not as good as Tony. Calm down, Mom. I have a 3.9 GPA in college right now. 3.9? Look at Tony. He has a 4.0. When are you going to be as good as him? Mom, why do you always compare me to Tony? He's my friend. If you were that good, I wouldn't be comparing you to. Now give me your game. Go study. <sighs> Fine. The know-it-all mom. Mom! What, Lily? I cannot find the milk. Are you serious? It's on the side for Lily. Check. Oh, uh, right here. But where's my cereal? It's in the pantry on the third shelf from the top, hidden behind the raisins in the corner. Oh. 
on the third shelf hidden behind the raisins? Oh, it's right here! Thanks, Mom. You always know where everything is. Of course I do. But remember to clean up after yourself, okay? Okay. This kid, Joyce, it looks amazing. And done. I think Lily is going to like this cake. Let's surprise her. Watch out! Are you okay? <sighs> oh man, my cake! I don't have enough time to make another one. What am I going to do? Instead of cake, how about waffles? First, add all of the dry ingredients together. Don't forget to sift it to remove the lump. Stir it up. Now, it's time for the wet ingredients. Make sure to whisk up the eggs before adding all of the other wet ingredients. Now add the wet to the dry, and then mix. Separate the batches with different colors. Then put the batter into resealable plastic bags. Can't wait to see how these waffles turn out. With a preheated waffle maker, spray with cooking oil. Add red into the outermost circle, and continue adding more colors until you reach the middle. Close it up, and all you have to do is wait for it to cook. Add whipped cream to make it look like clouds. And don't forget the sprinkles for more magic. Happy birthday, Lily! Wow, it's for me? Thank you! No problem. Now blow the candle. Okay. Wow, it looks so nice, Joyce. I love this waffle birthday cake. No problem. Ooh, this waffle saves my day. Now sit down. We can eat it together. Okay. Oh my god, this summer is so hot. Yeah, Lily, it's really hot. We should check the AC. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go. Uh, yeah, okay. Hmm, that's weird. Nothing's changing. Why is it not doing anything? I don't think it's working. I wish we had a fan. It's so hot. Want a fan that's full of Lily's hair? With permanent markers, lightly scribble across the blades of the fan. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because... Once it starts spinning, it will look amazing. What a cool fan! And it helps you stay cool too. Oh, it feels so good. Thanks for the fan, Joyce, and I really like the color. Oh, it's no problem, Lily. Um, Joyce, those don't look very nice. And done. Lily, look, I finished my rainbow nails. Does it look like the picture? I don't think so. I think you just messed up your nails. Oh man, I really want nice nails so I can see my boyfriend. Hmm. Don't worry, Joyce, I can help you. Want colorful nails? Grab some skewers and nail polish. Then dip the skewer into some nail polish. Now, drag it across your nail. Continue the process switching colors. Just one after another. Amazing! They already look so cute! And there you have it! A rainbow on your nails! Wow, Lily! You look so nice! Thank you! No problem! Your boyfriend's gonna love your new nails! Wait, really? Oh, I'm gonna go show him now! Thank you, Lily! Bye! Bye. <laughs> That's so funny! Look at what she's doing! <laughs> Joyce, can you face the phone towards me? I want to see it more. Oh, okay. Here. Can you see? Oh, thank you. Having trouble there, Joyce? Oh, no. The phone. Oh, my gosh. My phone. Is your phone okay? My phone's okay, but my hand hurts too much to hold it. I think we need a phone stand. Need help holding your phone? Try this phone stand. Grab all the color pencils needed. Then take the first three and tie them together using a rubber band. Separate the bottom and attach three more, one on one side and one on the other. Don't forget to connect it. So grab another color pencil and connect it to the back. Now all you have to do is tie it to the front. All done. Now with our rainbow phone stand we can enjoy our favorite videos. Wow, you're so creative, Joyce! Oh, it's no problem. Now let's enjoy. Oh, <laughs> I like your shirt. Me too. It's such a nice color. <laughs> Are you excited for today? Yeah, I'm excited to see that movie we're talking about. Me too. Huh? Ew, Lily, 
Daddy, my shoelaces are so dirty. It's okay. Nobody's going to be looking at your shoes anyway. Yeah, but they're disgusting. Sorry, I don't want to go anymore. Oh, Joy, it's okay. I'll fix it for you. Now let's fix those shoelaces, shall we? Grab all of the permanent markers needed. Now move a shoelace, color it using the permanent markers. Don't worry about the coloring. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because, once sprayed with isopropyl alcohol, the colors will spread. Perfect! Now you have rainbow shoelaces! Do you like them? Wow, they're so pretty! Let me try them on! So how does it look, Joyce? I really love it! Thank you! No problem, Joyce! Let's go watch your movie now! Sounds good! Let's go! We're gonna be late! Yeah, yeah, let's go! Joyce, do you have eyeshadow? Yeah, I have a whole palette right here! <gasps> Oh man, I dropped it. Lily, can you help me get it, please? Yeah. Thank you. Oh shoot, it's broken, Joyce. What? What do you mean, broken? Your eyeshadow palette is broken. Really? Let me see. Oh no. Oh man, how am I supposed to do my eyeshadow now? Got a broken palette? Don't worry. Grab the broken eyeshadow and line them up within an empty palette. Spray some isopropyl alcohol and line it up with parchment paper. Using a bottle cap, smooth it out. Remove the parchment and look at that pigment. It's beautiful. Here, Lily. Now you can do your rainbow eyeshadow. Thank you, Joyce. Let me show you. Joyce, how does it look? It looks amazing. Can I try it? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. One glass of wine, please. Of course. Perfect. Thank you. Hmm, <laughs> this guy will be my new victim. I will steal money from him. Yes! This wine's really good. How much is it? Oh, uh, thank you. It's only $20. Okay. Where's my money? Again? Uh, some pickpocket stole your money. Really? What am I gonna do? You need to be more careful next time. Before you travel and you want to protect your money, just hide it in your shoe. Now, I'm ready to travel. This guy is so broke. How is he traveling? Oh. Why is he so angry? I don't know. How much is his wine? Oh, it's $20. Here's your money. Oh, thank you. Why does it smell so weird? It's because I hide money in my shoe. Ew. Don't do that next time. That smells horrible. But at least my money is safe. Get in there! I need to bring everything. Oh man, how can I fit everything? I have too many bottles. To solve this problem while packing, all you need is gloves. Fill up the finger with lotion, shampoo, or whatever you need. And then use the rubber band to tie it so it won't leak when you go. Use the sharpie to mark what's inside. Everything I need is in this glove. Now I don't have to bring all of these bottles. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Hi, welcome to customs. Can I see your passport? Passport? Sure, give me a second. Oh no, sorry officer. I think I left my passport at home. I'm sorry, no passport, no boarding. Ah, uh, how can I remember to take all my stuff when I travel? Do not forget anything while you're traveling. All you need is a travel packing list. Use a marker to check up all the things that we need for traveling. And now we won't forget anything. Can I see your passport, please? Passport? Here you go. And also the boarding pass? Yep, yeah, here you go. Welcome aboard. Please proceed that way. Thank you. Yeah. Hurry up, Lily. The train's gonna leave soon. Wait, wait. Just give me a second. I can't find my bag. Oh, uh, really, Lily? Why do you need a bag? I need one for my jacket, my books, and my lotion. I can't go anywhere without them. Fine. I'll make a bag for you. First, put the hoodie flat on the bed. Then put the stuff you need in the middle of the hoodie. Fold the bottom of the hoodie and then pull it over your items. Tuck the bottom into the hood and then tie it with the drawstring. Finally, tie the sleeves into a knot. Here you go, Lily. You can use this bag. 
Wow, it looks so nice. Thank you. No problem. Let's go. We're going to be late. Okay. Max, wake up. Wake up. Uh, what time is it? I'm so sleepy. It's 12 p.m. already. The plane's going to take off without us. Oh, shoot. 12? Oh, I need to hurry up. Uh, what do I take with me? Are you serious, Max? You didn't pack yet? Oh, uh, sorry. I messed up. But don't worry. I know what to do. When you're late, all you need is to take the hanging organizer and put it in your suitcase. Ah, I'm ready to go, Lily. Are you serious? You're taking the whole organizer with you? Of course. Well, let's go. We're going to be late. Okay, fine. Oh, man. Really? Dang, why does this happen all the time? My shampoo pours out. To solve my problem, all I need is a Ziploc and a scissor. Use the scissors to cut out a square from the Ziploc. Use it to cover the bottle opening, then twist the lid back on. Now my bottle is leak proof. Hurry up, Lily. We're going to be late for the party. Wait a second. I'm still looking for my outfit. <sighs> Lily, you should prepare your clothes before you travel. Let me help you. First, you need to choose the clothes for every day, then fold it into squares. Carefully put it into the ziplocs. Then, using a marker, write down all of the weekdays. Now you have the clothes for every single day. And you have one for the party, too. You're so smart! Here's your dress. Thank you. Give me a second. I'm gonna go get changed. Okay, I'll change. Look, Lily. Italy is so beautiful. I want to go there so bad. Yeah, buy a ticket and go. I want to, but I only have this much money. Six dollars? How are we gonna buy a ticket with six dollars? That's all I have. How can I save money for my dream trip? Wait, wait, wait. I know what to do. To help Max save for his trip, all we need is a picture of Italy, a glass, a marker, and double-sided tape. Use the double-sided tape to stick the picture onto the vase. Use the Sharpie to write the name of the country you want to travel to. And now, every time you see this bottle, you remember to save money. Wow, you're so creative. I'm going to start right now. First, my $6. Wow, now I have enough money to go to Italy. Thanks, Lily. No 